Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falker County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, this week's question actually came from uh, my teacher advisory group, also known as ACES, and they asked about the potential of get, doing away with the BYOD policy, BYOD standing for bring your own device to school. Uh, and the, the, the concern shared from teachers was that, that the devices are causing a uh, problem disruption in classrooms and at school and it would be better if they there was not a BYOD policy. So a couple things. One, um, BYOD is a, a school board policy. So the school board passed it about four years ago. Um, and I support it and I support it then, I support it now um, for a couple reasons. One, the goal of course is that teachers are using devices for instruction. And I mean, a, a, a iPhone, for example, is just basically a little computer and um, kids can use them. And we understand that not all students have uh, smartphones, for example. So we accommodate for that by pairing up students when it's appropriate, but it's not, it's an imperfect system. So don't get me wrong. It's not, it's uh, not always 100% uh, convenient or appropriate, but you know, we do what we can. The bigger issue is I don't think we have enough teachers who use the devices who are comfortable enough using the devices and I'll, I'll we'll take the blame for that because I don't I don't know that we've provided the appropriate staff development for them. We kind of instituted this policy for a couple of reasons. The other reason I'll get to in a minute um, without providing enough staff development and that's something that we need to work on and our new assistant superintendent, associate superintendent, Major Warner uh, is on that and we're looking at ways to uh, promote that. Um, the other reason for the BYOD policy, frankly, was uh, the number of disciplinary issues resulting from devices prior to BYOD was monumental. Since um, instituting BYOD, of course, the number of the instances of discipline related to BYOD and student using devices at school was dr dr decreased dramatically, I'd say probably around the 90% range. Um, so, and that was predictable just by virtue of the fact that they were able, students were able to have them. Um, so, uh, but I do think it is time, as I shared with ACES, to go back and remind folks that um, the primary purpose for these devices is to use them as instructional tools. We need to hit the reset button a little bit as far as reminding students and parents about acceptable use of these devices at school. Uh, there is a problem, a concern with um, students, for example, uh, texting with parents during the school day for you know things like what time you be home, what time do you get off work, what time is practice in, what time does the game start, that kind of stuff. Uh, and that, that can be disruptive. So we need parents help there to make sure that we're adhering to the acceptable use piece. But I think it is a good time for a reset, honestly, for all, all of us in terms of why we instituted this policy, how these devices are supposed to be used, and being more consistent with the way that we use them with, within each of our schools. So um, the, the, the other thing I'm tempted to get into, but I will not, is um, the social media piece. Some folks have implied that, well, issues with social media are as a result of BYOD. I disagree with that completely. Most of the issues we deal with having to do with social media happen outside of school and get drugged into school. And getting rid of uh, doing away with BYOD is not going to solve that. Social media has and students has been a complete game changer for us and for probably everyone. Uh, it has changed the fabric of, of public education in terms of um, creating additional issues for school administration to deal with. And uh, we, that's an area we really need parents' help in monitoring so their children's use of social media, et cetera. But that's a discussion for another time, honestly, because I could go on forever about that. So I uh, hope this has been helpful to you and please keep the good questions coming. Thank you.